through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Better set it off good, man. Get the spirit riled up, man. Right? Wicked Greenwood Avenue, man. We back, man. Tom. All praises, man. Can I get one more reading? All praise to the most high, man. Tom. I'm going to go to you. Tom. I got, I got my sword here. You got you. All praise to the most high, man. Right. We out here teaching the Bible, man. Y'all come learn something, man. Come, get, come, come, come learn something. Come get your judgment, man. First of all, man, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who we call Yahweh. His name is Yahweh, right? And the mighty Heavenly Son, man, named Yahweh Shah, man. Right? The King of Israel, man. Right? We we're commissioned by the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son, man, to come out here and teach the Word of God in these final days, man. Right? Because the world's getting wicked, man. It's waxing wicked and wicked and wicked. We're worse, man. Right? I don't know how much more worse it can get out here, man, right? You got all kind of wickedness going on, man. But the Lord sent his prophets out here, man, to teach, man. You got a preset king? Bring it out. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham from the tribe of Benjamin. See that? Has God casted out his people, man? La ah, man, his people are still here, man. The problem is we're scattered all across the earth, man, the four corners of the earth, man. But the Lord's riling us up, man. He's riling up a mighty spirit, man. Right? I'm going to give all praise to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? Because we out here to teach, man. Right? Our women's are uh, caught up in all kind of madness, man. Our brothers is walking around effeminate, man. They got a weak spirit on them. Right? But we out here to rise our people up, man. We out here to give our people the truth, man. You see that? Give me uh, Proverbs 22 and 6, right? Give me uh, the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 5, man, right? Because we out here to teach, man. We are even out here to teach the kids, man, right? And we out here to teach our people, man, how to deal with their kids, man, right? We had a, we just we just came home, man. We was out in Delaware for a while, a mighty unity camp, right? And we was out there teaching young brothers, man, right there, out there in, the, out there in Delaware, man, Wilmington, man, right? Out there teaching the, the, the young brothers, man, how to follow the Lord, man, how to keep these commandments, man, right? Christ, man. Hey man, is that Christ right there, man? Is that Christ? You see that? Hey, uh, bring that out, King. What you got? Uh, 22 and 6. Come on. Come on. What you got? Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. So. We started a uh, non-profit to cite me to we believe that being a disciple and telling other people is the most important thing. We're called to two things: to love and love thy neighbor, and number two, to be a disciple. Who's your name? Tell what's your nationality, man? What, what's your origin? What do you go back to? Uh, well, my father's actually adopted, so uh -huh. they're German, but uh, actually from England. It's, it's where we're actually from. So, uh, he, he would be con considered a Caucasian. Right. So y'all, so y'all teach, y'all teach that you got to be a disciple of Christ, right? Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 thou shalt not avenge 
nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. See that? So here in the belief, man, we teach our people, man, that your neighbor is the is the same people of your nation, right? Because uh, the Bible says, man, we're, we're not to deal with ev all, every other nation. You see that? In the in the in the so-called Old Testament, right? The, the Lord he, he instructed us not to mingle and mix with everybody, right? You believe that? You believe you believe we're supposed to just go out and mingle and mix with everybody? Like you're supposed to mix your seed with everybody? Everybody's just supposed to mix in and mingle? Do you believe that? We're out here to teach, man, right? We're out here to teach. Right, we're, we're familiar with Genesis 9, Genesis 10. We know about the Tower of Babel. We know about him, and we know about Nimrod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're familiar with all that. We split, man, because the Lord split the nations, right? Right. He, he split the nations because he has a chosen nation. You see that? He split the nations because the Lord has a chosen nation. We all come out of Adam. We all come out of Noah. But the Lord has a chosen nation in this Bible. Do you believe that? Do you believe? Do you believe there's a group of people out in the world that's better than the rest of the people in the world? Right. And who are the chosen people? The the Jewish people, right? You know the word Jewish. It's in the Bible, but it, the, the the people in the Bible they didn't call themselves Jewish. They called themselves Israelites. See that? Right. And you know what the word Jewish means? The word Jewish means to be like a Jew. If I was telling this brother, man, you're acting childish. I'm not calling him a child, but I'm saying he's acting like a child. You see that? Those people in Israel today, they're not the real, they're not the real people in this Bible. They con they converted to, to, to our, 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 our heritage. You see that? The people that are actually Israelites are on this sign. You see that? And we can prove that through the Bible. You see that? The people in Israel, man, why don't they call themselves Israelites? They call themselves Jewish, right? Or Israeli, exactly. Do you think Jesus came for everybody? 100%. Give me uh, give me Matthew's one and twenty one. Give me uh, give me Matthew's fifteen twenty. Hold on, man. Hold on, cause you might learn something, man. Yeah, well, don't leave, man. It's about to get good, man. Just can we just read? Can we just read one to you? Just one. One more. Read this. One more. Read Matthew's fifteen and twenty four, and I want you to tell me what this means, since you think Christ came for everybody, right? You know, this is the book of Matthew fifteen and twenty four. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. That, that was red letters. That was coming out of Christ's mouth itself. How do you how do you break that down? How do you decipher that? You got not you guys. I don't know. So I like this assuming right now, right? Which is it, it, that that could be wrong, right? But Israelites and those are his chosen chosen people, right? And pretty soon there's going to be 144,000 Jews calling his name in the hills of Israel. And that's when God's going to come back. And he's going to rule. I mean, he's going to rule the country, right? Even after reading that, you think Christ came He just said he only comes. He just said he only comes for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see that? And that's all over the scriptures, man. We can go back and forth. If you got more time, we can read it for you. The scripture said Christ was sent to save his people. He wasn't sent for everybody. Can you, can you, can you, can you, since you know about the Tower of Babel, can you quote it? Can you? Right, 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 right. Well, we're out here every Friday, right? The Bible says, yeah, we just don't want you too close, man. You know, you got COVID and all that out here, right? So what the Bible says in, in the book of Thessalonians, you have to prove all things, right? Because we could be talking to each other and not even be telling the truth, right? Look, so if you say that Christ, you right, if you say that Christ, if you say that Christ came for everybody, you got to show us a verse where it says Christ came for everybody, Look, right? Look, I will prep and I will come out here. We're out here every Friday, man. And we'll come out here next Friday. Yeah, we're out here every Friday. And we'll go back and forth because I, I love what you guys are doing. Because ultimately, I think... We are both honoring the same God. How we get there, 
But doesn't the Bible say that, that, that the God that you're talking about is the God of Israel? It's not the God of everybody, right? The God, the God in the Bible is the God of Israel. So, so let me ask you this. So the, doesn't the, doesn't the Asian man, doesn't the Asian man have a different God, right? Doesn't it, doesn't the Dahid Indians don't they praise a different God named Sheba, right? Everybody don't everybody don't believe in who you would call Jehovah or who you would call Yahweh. The Bible says that's the God of Israel. You see that? But now everybody everybody right right. So that's what I'm saying. That's not the God of everybody. You see that? You're, you're a heathen, according to the Bible, right? Gentile, no, the Gentile heathen, it's all the same, right? You're a heathen, according to the Bible, right? And you got to get ready for slavery, man, right? <laughs> according to this Bible, man, the people that put us in slavery, they got to go in slavery. You see That's that? right. You see that? Esau want to come up like he knows everything, man, right? But don't got no scriptures, nothing to back it up, man. Let's get, let's get back to what we were going into, man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me get with the brother, man. Get, uh, yeah, uh, no, give me, um, give me Proverbs 22 and 6, man, right? Because, uh, women, man, we really out here to talk, talk, talk to our people and our people only, man, right? But the heathen want to walk up, man, like you know something, man, right? He don't have no scriptures, no nothing to back it up. Hey, hit us up for that debate. But, yeah, we we ready to debate, man. We ready to contend for the faith, man, right? We ready to contend for the faith, man, right? We want to walk up and, uh... And, and make a bunch of claims, but don't got no scriptures to back it up, right? But we're willing to concern for the faith, man. But we are here for our people, man. We are here to teach our people to come back to these commandments, man, right? We are here to teach our people, man, to come up and, and raise their kids, man, in a proper way, man, right? Because you got, I seen a TikTok video the other day, and the chick was saying, man, I'm a city girl, right? But my kid is not going, I'm not going to raise my kid up to be a city girl. My, my daughter's going to raise up different. I'm a city girl, but my daughter's not going to be a city girl, right? But I thought the apple would not fall far from the tree, man. Right? That's right. How are you going to raise your daughter up, right? And then and you acting like a city girl, and you, you expect your daughter not to act like a city girl, man. Right. That don't make sense, man, right? You, you, as a man reap, reap and sow, he sows, man. As he sows, he's going to reap, man. You can't plant something and expect to get something else out of it, right? So you got to teach your children, man, to rise up, man. You got to teach your children to follow these commandments, man. Train your kids up in the right way, man. Bring that out. Proverbs 22 and 6. This is Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You see that? We got to train our children up the right way, man. We got to teach our kids these commandments, man. Right? We got we to gotta have our children meditating on the word of God, man. Right? Teaching our kids about the Sabbath, right? Teaching our children about the high holy days, man. Not teaching them about their damn city girls, man. And walk around like brother, uh, high out to their mind. Brother, 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 Welcome brother, to the world, man. Y'all believe in the Bible? Come to the word, brother. Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all be, you believe in the Bible, King? Hey, what's your nationality, King? If you don't mind me asking. What nation of people do you come from? What's y'all's nationality? Right? Black. Black, African American. Hey, y'all got a minute, right? Because we out here to teach y'all, man. Y'all's our people, right? That's right. So look, check this out. There's no nation in the world called black. If you had to go back to the land of black, where would you go? Right? Y'all really know, right? We call ourselves African Americans, Native Americans, but the word Africa, right? That comes from a white man named Leo Africanus. The word America comes from America Vespucci, right? So how are we two different continents, bro? You see that? We don't really know who we are, that's what I'm trying to say. Give me Jeremiah uh, 17 and 4, right? Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, right? What we're out here to teach y'all young brothers, man, is that y'all actually come from the nation of Israel. You see that? I'm pretty sure the brother here and the sister here does too. The Bible says we're a special people, right? If you're a so-called black man, so-called Native American, so-called Latino, Haitian, go back to the Caribbean islands, or our brothers in the four corners of the earth, you're actually God's chosen people. You see that? That's why everything we do, it turns to gold. Yeah, we're in bad neighborhoods. Yeah, we're going through a lot of struggle war reservations. But who cooks like us? Who can dance like us? Who can dress like us? You see that? Who sets all the trends, brother? Right? These other nations want to be like y'all. Right. You see that? Right. Y'all are special people on this earth, man. Y'all are literally kings and priests. You see that? We used to say that all the time back in the day. Oh, I'm a king. I'm a, I'm a prince. I'm a king. But the actuality the truth is you really are. You know what I mean? Your forefathers go back to King David. He was a mighty, he was a mighty warrior king. Your forefathers go back to Solomon, one of the richest men that ever lived, right? He was one of the wisest men that ever lived, bro. Why do you think we're so smart and so intelligent? 
even when we ain't paying attention in school, we get good grades. You see that? We just smart people, man. Just if you got just two minutes, brother, we can just teach you one or two things, right? I can tell. I can tell it's resonating with your spirit, kid. And I can tell, man, right? Y'all special people, man. Y'all gotta come back to this Bible and get over here with us, man. You see that? We we, we, we call ourselves Christians. We call ourselves Baptists. All this other stuff. Hey, get up on that card, man. Right? Get up on that card, man. Right? If you have, yeah, yeah, come back and build with us, brother. We out here for y'all, man. We out here to uplift our people, man. You see that? Yeah, man. Hey, read the precepts in the way, man. They can hear him while they're going down the street. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So we've been discontinued from our heritage, man. That's what we was up here just trying to tell the young brother. We're the only people in the world that don't know where we are. Who we are. We're the only people in the world, man, that don't live in our ancestral land, right? According to the Bible, man, we made a covenant with the Lord, and we got to come back to that covenant, man. Right. We got to follow these scriptures, man. Come back to these commandments, man. Word. Shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, right. and I will call, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. What are we doing now, man? Ever since the white man came to this country, man, we've been having to serve our enemies, man. Right, right under hard labor or under, or under hard bondage, man. It's almost like we're in Egypt again, man, right? We got a slave under this, uh, under these different nations, man. When we want food, when we want water, who do we got to go to, man? We got to go to these other nations. Hey, y'all come, y'all come here to the Bible, man. Y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, is that your Jesus right there, man? Connor. Hey, is that your Jesus right there? Hey, come, come, come contend the faith, man. Right, yeah, that's what I thought, man. They don't, they don't, they don't want to hear the scriptures, man. They're going to get fed up, man. Bring, bring it out, King. This is the book of Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So these are two animals, man. These are two simple animals made for working, right? But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. And that's the crazy thing, man. We don't know who we are, right? Because we've been discontinued from our heritage. But the crazy part is, man, we don't even consider, man. Right? We just, whatever somebody tells us, that's what we believe, man. We believe that we're Native Americans, right? When the word America comes from the white man, right? We yep. believe that we're African Americans, but that's two different continents. Brother, come listen to the word, brother. One minute, brother. One hey, what's your nationality, King? What nation do you go back to, right? What's your ancient language, right? On, what's your ancient heritage, man? Come on, Come on, DMC. Come build with us, man. We your brothers out here, man. We out here for you, man. Right? You gonna go across the street and them damn, them damn so-called white people gonna tell you lies, man. Right? But we gotta, we gotta lift our people up, man. We gotta tell our people how to get the salvation, man. They gotta come back to the truth, man. You see that? Hey, brothers. Hey, brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, what nationality y'all go back to, man? What, what land do y'all go back to? Right? Y'all so-called African-Americans? So-called Gadites, Native Americans? Are you a so-called African-American or Native American? Don't do what? We're trying to teach, brother. We're trying to teach. We ain't out here for that, brother. We're out here trying to teach. No, we just want you to come over here. What do you do? What do you do? Brother, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you, brother. We're trying to teach, brother. You see that? We, all right, all right, bro. Yeah, so what nationality do you go back to, man? African American? Well, that's what we was trying to teach them, man. What we're trying to teach our people, right, is that Africa and America is two different continents, what do we do? right? What do we do? So Africa comes from a, a, a white man's name. Yeah, I don't America know. comes from a, a white man's name. It comes from Leo Africanus and America Vespucci. You see that? This is what we was trying to tell them, brothers. You see that? What we're out here saying is if your father goes back to uh, a so-called African American, then you actually go back to the children of Israel. You see that? You ever heard that before? You ever heard of the Israelites? That's what we out here teaching our people, man. Right? We lost our nationality and heritage over time, right? We've either we've either uh went in slavery, right? We've either got our heritage destroyed. One which which way or the other, no matter what tribe you go back to, we we don't know who our, what our ancient religion is, our ancient heritage, we don't know what our ancient nationality is. You see that? The, the Bible says we're special people. You see that? You got a minute, man, we can teach you some things. Give me uh Deuteronomy seven and six, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above 
all people that are upon the face of the earth. See that? The Lord chose you, brother, to be a special person above all people on the face of the earth. Now, I know a lot of people hear that and says, well, you know, we're all equal, and that sounds racist. But look, we didn't come up with this, brother. This is out the Bible, right? The Lord has a chosen people, and it's you, King, right? This is why everything, all people put our hands on, it turns to gold no matter what. We're the best athletes, we're the best dancers, we're the best singers, we're the best inventors. Any kind of, if you get in your car and turn on a music channel, brother, all people created that music. Whether it be rock and roll, doo-wop, classical music, R&B, hip-hop, jazz, classic, any kind of music you listen to, your people created that music, brother. This is why we're saying you're a special people on the earth, right? Bring it out. If, you, if your father goes back to so-called African-American brother, that's talking about you. You see that? We can prove to you off of the stuff that our families, our forefathers and our families went through that, that, that this is talking about you, that you actually go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. You see that image right there? Right? Who, what is that image? What do, they tell, what do they tell us that image is right there? That's Jesus. Right? Did you know in the Bible it says that Jesus didn't look like that? Can we, can we, can we, are you familiar with that? Basically, but it actually tells you what Christ looked like. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it said, this is the book of Revelation, this is the last book in the Bible. It says he had hair like wool, so it's going into the texture of his hair. It said that it was white because he was a, he was an elder age, he, he had wisdom, his, his hair was white with, full of wisdom, right? And his eyes were like flames of fire, right? That can go into two different things. He was angry, he had to drink a little wine. In the Bible, it called Christ a wine bibber, you know what I mean? One of his first miracles was turning water into wine, right? And we can show you, in, uh, we can precept that with other scriptures, but that, that's basically what it's going into, right? You, you can see a lot of people in our family, right? They drink a little bit, their eyes get red. You see what I'm saying? And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So it said his feet were like fine brass. When you go into the Hebrew word, the word brass, it means like a copper looking color. So either if you're talking about brass or copper, you're talking about like a brown looking metal. But then it says it was looked like it went into a furnace. You see that? That's telling you what Christ looks like. You see that? You, you clear on that? Yeah, so so Christ, this is why, Salaki, I'm gonna get your precept. But this is why, right? Christ, Christ goes back to the tribe of Judah. The word Jew, come, it comes from the word Judah. So Christ was a Jew from the tribe of Judah, you see that? And this is why we say that the so-called African-American or who the world would call the Negroes actually goes back to the tribe of Judah. This is what the world calls us. This is who we actually are, you see that? Bring it out, can we live for that? <laughs> Not exactly, they were slaves in Egypt, right? They, 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 they came, they lived in different lands, they occupied Canaan, right? Because all Israelites come from a man named Jacob. He wrestled with an angel, his name was uh, Israel. Israel, which means Prince of Power, that's Genesis 32, right? Okay, there was a famine in the earth, and everybody had to go into Egypt. This is when you're talking about like Joseph and the 12 brothers and all that. This is why Joseph was sent. Sin. Joseph was like, he was like one of the youngest sons of Jacob, but he was like a savior. If the brothers sold him into slavery, he went into Egypt, and he was really making a way for the other tri other brothers to come in. And he, you know, he, he, he went from a slave up to being the second in command in, in, in Egypt, right? And this is how we all ended up in Egypt, right? But as time went on, if you read it, you just said you read it. As time went on, new rulers came in and they put us in slavery. That was that was our first bondage. That was our first captivity. That's why that's why it seems like we come from Egypt, right? Because we, out of all the nations, we really weren't given a land. Abraham came from he, 
Abraham came from living with different people, but as time came on, the people that occupied Canaan, the Lord gave them that land. You see that? And that's why I went from Canaan to Israel. The Lord told us to go in there and take that land. If you keep reading on through like Joshua and Deuteronomy, you'll read where Israel left out of Egypt, lived in the wilderness, and they went into Israel, they went into the land of Canaan and took it. Alright? The Lord gave us that land. No, nah, no, nah, hey, that's beautiful, man, because it's like the Lord's putting that on your spirit, man. The Lord's putting that on your spirit to read, right? And and it just so happens that now, when now when you read that, brother, instead of like reading like a history book, now you're reading about your history. You see that? Your history. If you got a minute, man, if you got a minute, we're gonna read just a couple precepts for you, and just and just, what are you, you hold something to? You? Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy six and fourteen. Ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from all the face of the earth. Yeah, if you read into the Bible, the, the God of all people, the God of Israel, he's a jealous God, right? So he wants your full undivided attention, right? right. We got to meditate and be on the Lord all day. It seems kind of hard and kind of grievous. It's like, man, you know, God, God, oh, he's on me all the time. I got to focus on him, but he's doing this for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's almost like this. If you're a special people on the earth, you got a requirement now, right? It'll be like being like the team captain in your, in your, in your basketball team or your baseball team, right? But now you're the team captain and you're getting paid the most, but now you got a lot of responsibility. You see what I'm saying? Heavy is the crown that's on the head, you that's know what right. I'm saying? Right. Read, um, let, let's start with uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1, right? Because we got a lot of responsibility. The scripture says we was going to be a light to the world. You see that? We're a light to the world. The world basically follows us, man, you know what I mean? These laws in this Bible was given to our people, and now if you notice, the whole world carries that Bible, right? How many Christians, so-called Christians in the world? There's like a billion of them, you know what I mean? But this book was actually given to your people. I'm going I'm to I'm back up what we were saying about you being a special people with Deuteronomy. Check this out. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's saying it, it is going to come to pass. That we gotta hearken to the Lord's word. Hearken means listen, but also put it in effect. You see what I'm saying? It's just we gotta listen and we gotta put some action behind it. You see that? If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You see that? So we have to follow our God, right? He made us to be a special people. We have to follow our God with our heart and our, our, our genuineness. And it said that we would be the top nation in the world. You see that? But the, but the Bible, right, in this chapter, it also tells that if we don't follow the Lord, certain things is going to happen to us. You know our people, we got a history of what happened to us. You know what I mean? So-called Native Americans, our land was took from us. We had to come over here. We had to... Uh, we had to go through like genocide, you see what I'm saying? You see what happened to some of our other people, right? You see that? And some of this stuff still happened to us, bro. You never ask yourself though, well, why does this stuff happen? Seem like it's happened to us and nobody else. Does the Chinese man go through this? Does the Arab go through this, right? Do you see the Arab going through any of these things, right? It just seems like these happens to a certain select of people. But I'm gonna teach you why it's going to us. Go back and get go down to 15. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now this is getting into, if we don't follow our God with wholeheartedness, what's going to happen to us? You see that? So we got benefits. It's like the old saying, you got blessings and you got a curse, right? If you do the right thing, you'll get the blessings. But if you don't, bad things are going to happen to you. You see that? Read 16. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. Now, if you go around all these cities, I'm from Baltimore. You got brothers up here from New York. You got brothers from L uh, Detroit, right? New York, New York. We are from different cities, man. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know where you're from, King. But Baltimore is a hard city. You see that? 
There was a lot of so-called Native Americans up there, so-called African Americans, Latinos. Bro, Baltimore was hard. We were dealing with uh, heroin epidemics, right? So we were, man, food was hard. I seen real poverty in Baltimore. You know, North Carolina can be hard, but man, I seen real poverty in Baltimore. You see that? So we're having a hard time in these cities, man. You see that? And when he talks about Kershaw be in the city, Kershaw be in the field, who had to work the fields, man? Our people had to work the fields. Hey, just a couple generations ago, man, my grandfather would tell me stories all the time where they were sharecroppers. They had to work in the field, you know what I mean? Hey, check this out. So my family's from North Carolina, right? We ended up in Baltimore because we couldn't get jobs in the South. You see that? Yeah, you know, you know, you know about Jim Crow. Think about it, bro. Just 60 years ago, our people couldn't get jobs. You're thinking about today and how easy it is just to go get a job. But bro, back in the 60s and the 50s, bro, we couldn't get jobs in the South. Jobs wasn't booming like this. See. We're not that far removed. Our grandparents know that history. You see what I'm saying? So, so in in this very country, man, we got a we got a, a, a rough background, rough history, man, based off of what our oppressors done to us. You see what I'm saying? Now, does the Bible tell us to deal with all races or does it tell us to deal with all people? All people, see what I'm saying? God didn't tell us, man, to deal with all people, right? You deal with these other nations, man, you see what it's, got, it's getting our people, right? Joe Biden just was on TV lashing out of Africa because they wanted to condemn LGBT, you see that? They push that stuff on our people, right? Don't they put abortion clinics in our neighborhood? Don't, didn't they put drugs in our neighborhoods in the 80s? Right? Didn't they put abortion in our, our neighborhoods? Right? right? Don't they? Don't the police pull, pull us over for nothing? Right? Didn't they oppress us? Right? When you walk in these stores, when these Asians and these Arabs own it, don't they kind of laugh and scoff at us? Right? None of these people care about us, brother. Listen, check this out. And I'm and and, and I, I see that you're being sincere. So I'm trying to be genuinely sincere with you, right? Nobody cares about us but us. You see that? Do Do we go to the Jewish man, right, and say, Hey, man, you should forgive the Germans for what they did to you? No. Now, did they, did they go through what we did, right? We've been on slave ships, right? Uh, the so-called Native American basically went through genocide. They only took out a few of those people, right? But they, what do they tell Native Americans and so-called uh, African Americans, right? Oh, forget about that stuff. Forget about slavery, right? Does the, the, the so-called United States forgive the uh, uh, Bin Laden and all them for 9-11? Don't they tell you, don't they say always remember 9-11? You see that? We're the only people that are, that's constantly told, forget about your history. Just simulate. Just be an American. Just 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 bear with us. Just work for us. You see what I'm saying? We're the only people that get fed that stuff. Right? Nobody goes to the Jewish man and says, hey, we know what happened in Germany. We want y'all to make pieces with Germany. No, right? Hey brother, a little while back, right? The camp went to a uh, in Raleigh, man, they had a slave plantation, right? And they still got, it's not open, but they keep it open as a monument, right? Do you think we could go over to Germany and find and go into uh, those places where they, where they've been, where they, where they fried all those Jewish people? They close that stuff down and they forget about it. But our stuff, our history, it's a monument, right? That's why they had to get rid of all these Confederate statues, right? Their, their, their treasure is our trash, right? For us to rise up, they gotta rise down. You see what I'm saying, brother? They they work all day to keep us down. The Bible is strict on saying that we shouldn't mix with these other nations, brother. But we've been trained to think, let's love everybody, right? But we gotta love ourselves, right? Hey, but hey, our music, right? And I'm just trying to be real with you. Our music, right? Does it talk about going out killing other people or does it talk about killing each other, right? It talks about killing us, right? Or I'm going to get my ops. I'm going to get on demon mode. I'm going to ride around my hood and go shoot at a crip or shoot at a blood. It doesn't say I'm going to go in the suburb and kill somebody else. You see that? We're programmed to hate our own self, brother. Right? But now, but like you said, you was like, well, man, what about all these other nations? If they claim to be Christians, they could be. What about us? You see what I'm saying? We got to love each other. You see what I'm saying? You don't see them, you don't see them, you go out to these country uh, towns, you don't see them banding together and say, hey man, let's go help this one out and go help them. No, man, they're building their own stuff. And they're working as hard as they can to keep us out. 
Then they come back to our neighborhoods when the, when, the, when the house rate gets real low, and then they gentrify them. They raise up the uh, they raise up the rent, they raise up the uh, price of the houses, and now we can't even live in them areas. I just went back to Baltimore last week, man, and the whole area has changed. They go in there and fix it all up. You got you, uh, you ever heard that song or the, the stuff uh, the song from Tupac, "Me Against the World." Bro, it's literally us against the world, bro. That's right. We can show you that in the Bible, and we can show you that in the Bible where we're not supposed to be dealing with these other nations, right? You see what I'm saying? Say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this. Hey, you can be real with us. We your brothers up here. I'll, 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 I'll wait here. Let's just what I got to say. I just want to say, um, I was in Germany last year. They, they do got the couple of Holocaust museums in there. Uh, not, you know, the cats and all that, but, you know, they remember. They, mean, they remember they got the whole but you know it's not that exactly. But I was just gonna say, um, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I really do, and I made sure that to comprehend and understand. Um, I believe that you know I, I still gotta do my research. Like I said, I'm still on numbers, so I still got a long way to go to finish the math. I do the testament. But I think to me, for right now where I'm at, I think. Yeah, we have to love ourselves, because we really don't. We, as, us as black and colored people, we really do put a lot of racism above ourselves. We really do got to look for ourselves. But you know what? I kind of feel as though, I kind of feel Christ-like when I do that. When I learn to love and think of other people and put them above myself. Um, and you know, maybe it's cool as thinking that maybe I got to get to learn Christ more as I read the text. But, um, I don't feel bad, you know, thinking of other people while, while I'm working on myself. And you know what, you know, I have to respond to that, man. That proves that we're the, we're the people of God, man. Because naturally, man, we're tender-hearted to each other, right? We're tender-hearted people. We don't have that, we don't have that, uh, that, 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 so-called perpetual hate for everybody, you see what I'm saying? We're, we're tender-hearted people, man. Give me that in Deuteronomy's, uh, give me that Deuteronomy's 28 and 54, man. Right, because we're naturally tender-hearted people. So I understand where you come from, right? We've been taught, you know what I mean, we we're tender-hearted. Naturally, naturally, our true instincts is to be good-hearted, good people. So naturally, we're like, man, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. You know what I mean? I just want to love everybody, this and that. But, but before we love everybody, man, we gotta love our own people. You see that? The reason why we think like that a lot of times is because that's the image they gave us, man. Right? If th if that image, right, was the true image like we was talking about, then we would have more confidence in ourselves. You see that? We would love ourselves more. But but really, man, if you really think about it and do the math, when you give somebody that image, right? Now you think all people that look like that are God are, are like God. You see what I'm saying? They raised their self up to, to, to give our give us a Messiah that looks like that, an image of a Messiah that looks like that. So now we think everybody that looks like that is higher above us, right? Then they when you think about like when you think about like the standard of beauty, isn't it always somebody like that, right? Kim Kardashian, Marilyn Monroe, right? They always tell us that their features are better, right? That we're we're ugly looking and that they're beautiful, right? If you have their features, if you have blue eyes, it's great. If you have blonde hair, that's great, right? If you have long straight hair, that's great. We're not we're not given the uh the standard of, of beauty, right? But what happens? Don't they always go get a tan? Right? Don't they bubble their lips up to look like our women? Don't they go get a BBL so they can look like our women? You see that, brother? It's, it's, it's a little bit of technology to it. You know what I mean? They, they spend it a little bit to throw you off. You know what I mean? They know damn well, man, our women look beautiful, more, uh, more comely, more beautiful than their women. Right? They can't cook like us, right? Let me ask you this, too. Right? When, when we were in so-called captivity and real low uh, in society, right, didn't our women nurse their children? So how are we so bad people, right? How are we so untrustworthy people, yet they have our women nurse their babies? And, we, and our women, I just watched a documentary on YouTube, they were saying that our women nurse their babies better than they do, That's right. right? That's right. It's crazy, bro. But how are, we, how are we to look at them like they're better than us, yet we do everything for them? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, brother? Read that, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall become evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children. This is going back to the one of those curses that we deal with. So it said that the man that was once tender hearted, we were once, to, once we were tender hearted amongst each other. We would greet, greet each other, you know, 
Now it's to the point where if it's like like the brothers just before you walked up, how the brothers were, they didn't even come and give us a minute to build with them. I mean, immediately, man, like the devil got in them, they wanted to start riling up. Hold on, wait a minute, brother. At least come over here and see what we're talking about before you try to be adverse to us. You see what I'm saying? It says that we were once tender hearted amongst each other. You see that? We we loved each other, right? If you if you read that, read the end of that or read it one more time, Ken. Huh. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall become evil toward his brother. And that's our people. Going back to our music, right? Don't, in our music, we talk about hurting one another, right? We talk about blood and clips, right? You don't see other nations dealing with that on a level like our people, right? You go through our neighborhoods, right? Oh, man, I'm a good bomb in my ops. Oh, I got a rag in my pocket. You got a rag in your pocket, right? See that? We have we have an evil eye towards our brother. This is how we're this is how we're proving that this is actually talking about our people. The other nations ain't dealing with it like us. You see that? You can read on okay? Oh, uh, so like you. His eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children which he shall leave. When it says the wife of his bosom, man, right? A lot of us was raised up without our father in the home. You see that? So that's talking about our fathers and our mothers can't get along with each other. You see that? So a lot of us don't know our father, we don't know our mother, right? It talks about the children, right? Uh, a lot of us was raised without our fathers in the house. You see that? That's talking about us, man. That's talking about uh, single family homes. That's talking about single uh, mother homes. You see that? That's what I'm saying, man. We're, we're, when, 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 like the brother brought out last week, to prove that we're the people in the Bible, we have to go to the curses because we're always going through some kind of hardship. You see that? We're not going to the blessings because we're not living the blessings right now. You know, the, the, the beautiful land, the crops, you know what I mean, money and all this stuff. We're not living that. We have to go to the bad things in the Bible to prove to one another who we are. Because the last so-called thousand years, hundred years, we ain't been going through nothing but bad things. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, hey, can I read you one more, man? One, one more. Give me uh give me Isaiah chapter 40 verse 15, man. Right? And, yeah, you get a card? Yeah, man. We're just trying to prove, man, that the Lord's not dealing with all the nations, man. And I know to the to a person that's never heard it in this heard it in this kind of spectrum like this, it's kind of foreign to you, right? We're talk we told love everybody, love all the other nations, right? But the Lord's not dealing with other nations. The Lord's only dealing with you. You see that? This is the book of Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. You see that? The Lord's not dealing with every other nation. He said the nations were like a drop in a bucket. You see that? The Lord's not dealing with every nation, man. He's only dealing with Israel. We can we can shoot. Let me just get one more. Give me uh give me Amos chapter three, man. Right? Because we can go back and forth. There's so many scriptures in here that said the Lord's only dealing with Israel, man. The Lord's not dealing with every nation, right? They took our book and they took our uh they, they're trying to take our our covenants from us, man. They're trying to take like I know I know you're stressed on time, King. Let me just read one more. Amos three and four. Uh, now read uh, three, start at the top of three. All right, this is Amos chapter three from the top. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. So the Lord's talking to the children of Israel. We're out here telling you you're the, you're the actual real children of Israel. You see that? Salakia. So uh, o children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You see that? You see that? Hey, and, and if we had the time, you know what I mean? I got to pass it over to the next speaker. But the Bible says that the Lord's only dealing with you, right? So the Lord looks at you like you're his son, right? And if your son acts up and does what you don't tell him to do, you're going to punish him. This is why we're going through what we're going through. Right? We can keep going on and on, King. I know you got. I know you got to go. You're strained on time. If you're not, I can pass it on to the next brother, and they can edify you through the spirit. Hey, hey, check it out, man. Check it out. Yo, keep reading, man. Right? Keep it going. Follow the scriptures, man. Right? All praise to the Most High, man. That was beautiful, man.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be safe, Jay. Be safe. All right, I'll right, pass it to the next the speaker, man. But I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? Oh. And the name of the Heavenly Son, Yahweh Shah, man. That was beautiful edification, man. Shah. That's what I said. The, the angels rejoice, man, over one uh, one brother, man, coming back, man. We, we, we're trying to bring our, our people back to the fold, man, one by one, man. And that's what we're going to do, man, right? I want to give a, uh, 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 a mighty palm yashirana to all our brothers out here doing the work. Double, uh, uh, double respect and honor to the elders, man. And death to Esau, man. Palm yashirana! Palm yashirana! Palm yashirana! Palm yashirana! Palm yashirana!